First, there were the Robo Wars. <laughs> then, the Squid Clone Skirmish. Oh my god! They're all over me! And they're all identical! Get them off me! And now, the anarchists are invading. Spreading their message of freedom and democracy, they seek to destroy our very way of life with their perversion. We challenge the Galactic Emperor to step down and hold free and fair elections and then die at the hands of a rampaging anarchist horde! Voiced by an actor not necessarily reflective of current anarchist policy. I'm Major PR, and you're my next recruit, soldier. I was once weedy and got picked on. Now I'm in the Imperial Naval Fleet, have no identity other than my rank and serial number, I look exactly like an action figure, I couldn't be happier. If I wasn't happy, they'd pump me full of drugs anyway. The it's the life movie. I always wanted, after they persuaded That's me. That's right, and you too can be like him. Join, Join the Imperial the Navy. Navy, be a man, or a very manly woo man. Where death's concerned, the sexes are all Join equal. The All personnel, please ensure that hot drinks are not left unattended. Join the Imperial Naval Fleet, they said. Make something of yourself, they said. Visit strange new planets and bring new species under the protection of our Imperial Majesty, they said. Tell me why I'm stuck in a pokey little office, two miles from the nearest porthole, filing reports on the misuse of trash compactors. We've both got flat feed brack. Well, at least in your case, Extra, it's a mould design. I don't want to be a Marine anyways. Do. do you know what the average life expectancy is of a stellar Marine? It's minus two years. You're lucky to make it past basic training before one of those mad bastard inbred officers accidentally blasts you into the vacuum of space. There goes one now. I'll never get noticed here. Well, getting noticed means more chance of being mind castrated by Lord Pitch. Trust me, us bots know how to play it safe. Oh, post, post, let's see. A oh, memorandum from Lord Pitch. New chain of command following this week's um, retirements. <laughs> Some requests for file transfers, blah, blah, blah. Ah, my payslip. Scanning. Oh, what? No, 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 that's not right. They've not paid me my overtime. But, but, but. Stop glitching. But, but. Give it here. But, but, but. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Uh, just your standard 40 hours. I'll send them a message and I'm sure they'll sort it out for next week. I said stop glitching. Uh, thanks. But, uh, oh, 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 I stopped, okay, but... Uh, uh, however, yes, I had plans this weekend. Plans? What plans? What are you talking about? I was going to, um... Botty Rotic 68? Bot Erotic 68. It's the Robo Erotica events of the year. <laughs> look, look, I get to meet all the latest burlesque bots, a chat to like minded robos, attend the awards ceremony presented by Delta V12Z herself. But with the shuttle pass and everything, it, it's 1,000 credits a ticket. A thousand? Well, how much overtime did you do? Let's see, uh, 137 hours, 16 minutes, and 19 seconds. That doesn't even add up. Uh, we did that slingshot round the time anomaly, remember? No. Oh, no, no, no. That was the alternative version of you, created by the Paradox. Huh? Nice chap. Whatever. It's easy for you to clock up the overtime, isn't it? Yeah, for a start, you've got four arms. Oh, here we go. It's easy for you robos. You don't eat, you don't sleep, you can recharge on the job because you'd run off a lemon that sits inside your head. You don't spend an inordinate amount of time in the toilet doing the creator knows what you filthy organics get up to. And you have better luck with the ladies due to your large vibrating... Whoa, 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 whoa. I never said anything about your back massager. It's no matter. I'm marching to payroll right now and demanding my overtime. With a stapler. Are you mad? Y you know they've outsourced payroll to Altarian mercenaries. Jefferson from Accounts Payable pointed out a mistake on his payslip last week. They rectified the mistake by beating him to death with his own spleen. I would under no circumstances whatsoever mess with an Altarian. That's my payslip, isn't it?
Yes? It's completely blank, isn't it? Affirmative. Right. Time to man up. To the payroll department. I've got a plan. What about never messing with an Altarium? I'm through being held to ransom by these thugs every payday. We don't do this for ourselves. We do this for our fellow administration workers throughout the Galactic Empire. We do this for our fellow queeps. Is that your back massager? No, no, you've just got my uh, sedition chip tingling. Hey, I'm a loyal Imperial worker. I love the Empire. I love the security, the healthcare, the uniforms. Stop stroking yourself. It creeps me out. <clears throat> but if someone screws at my wages... What about Jefferson and his spleen? Well, unlike Jefferson, we... <coughs> ...are going in arms. We, we don't have the clearance to... <coughs> okay, I'm in. Now let's look at those blasters. Heady <coughs> on, we're not storing the anarchist strongholds. What was that? Anakin's forces have launched a surprise attack on a sun crush's outer defence crust. This is not a drill, although they probably are using drills. All personnel, battle station. Here's the lift. Going down. Did you hear that one? It's getting closer. This suddenly doesn't seem like a good idea. Too late for that now, Squire. My gang code mode has been engaged, and my suicide mission protocols are on standby. Besides which, we want to get paid, don't we? We could leave it till tomorrow. Or the day after that. Altarian mercenaries are one thing, but rebel... I mean, anarchist forces as well. Only this morning you were saying how you wanted adventure. To see adventure. I don't think I'm particularly committed to taking part in it. Too late now. Indoors. That's it, I'm getting back in the lift. Right. Payroll is just round the next two junctions. Come on, Brack. Come on up. You can do it. Hoo You okay now? Yes. So I can stop holding your hand. Yes. Oh good. I've certainly done a number on this place. The square root of 10,400,091? Huh? It gets messy. <laughs> this way! Well, let me guess. We have to get across there through that crossfire that's crisscrossing across the corridor? Affirmative. Okay, right. Bad idea. You were right. Keep our heads down, don't get noticed. So what if I miss a week's pay? I'm sure I'll get it back. Let's just crawl back to our office and... Uh... Brack? Yeah? Stop bleaching. Ow! You ready? No. Ow! How about now? Stop that. Wrong answer. Oh, 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 right, right, right. Okay. Okay now? Yes. Ow! Follow my lead. Oh, and uh, keep your head down and try not to get noticed. <laughs> major screws. There! Left! Oh no, your other left! What other left? What does that mean? There's only left! Alright! Just get to the door! <laughs> Open the blast door! Open the blast door! You are in a restricted area! I know I am. I'm trying to leave the restricted area. Well, look, matter of personnel, I've been evacuated. I'm trying to evacuate. Just open the blasted door! You are in a restricted area! Uh, let me try. I have a way with talking to my fellow machines. Say hello to my little friend. You are in a restricted area. Come on. Don't you know anything about door mechanics? The engineers built in a secret trap door. Shoot it once to open and a second time to close. Wow. Hopefully no one will ever figure out such a cleverly disguised bypass as that. And now, my esteemed workmate, welcome to payroll. Look, all I'm saying is that I think I may just be on the wrong tax bracket. Oh, friendly. Just keep in line and let me do the talking. You're still too trigger twitchy. What did I want? Hi, uh, good afternoon, uh... I'm Brack Newbar, and this is... X769C. Both administration class twos over in Waste Reclamation. 
Okay, so we've received our payslips and it appears there might, maybe, perhaps have been a little mistake. We make a debauchy. We make a debauchy. We make a debauchy. Oh, daddy, man, we make a debauchy. Yeah, you make a debauchy. Never bring an Altarian ceremonial glaive to a molten blaster fight. Now, give me my overtime. Ah, we make a debauchy. A ring I had a time sheet to unshade the wages. Here, we have payslips right here. No, 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 no. Want at the wages sheet to ring a the time sheet to. Well, we sent our time sheet, oh, to you. Uh, they were in the internal post. Where are they now? Trash. <laughs> right, you're on my report. All right, you do it. Down a garbage chute. I'm not going down there. Are you mad? I think you've just invalidated my warranty. Come on. Let's find our timesheets and... Get out of here. Oh, these Altarians don't half digest some filth. Oh, what? What? I think I just found Jefferson's spleen. Uh, what's that stuck to the bottom of it? Oh, well, that's half my time sheet. Come on, the uh, rest of it must be round here. What was that? Are you sure we're okay down here? Yeah, th this trash compactor 5678B, it's broke. It was in my filing yesterday. Brack? We file them away after they've been fixed. Oh. Just keep digging. I've got a bad feeling about this. Look, 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 here's yours. Oh, crap. We've got to get out of here. Shoot the control panel. Who puts a control panel on the inside of a trash compactor? Well, what happens if someone gets trapped inside? They die very painfully. All right, no need to shout. If I didn't shout, you wouldn't be able to hear me over the sound of us being crushed to death. Aha, uh -huh. look, the rest of my time sheet. Well, I'm good, it'll do you now. Any tighter. <coughs> Breathe. That's broke, all right. Laddie engineers. Oh, dear, I'm going to have to have that dent beaten out. They look like I've got a mangina. Oh, come on. We've got less than no time to get back to payroll before they shut for the day. Have they not finished yet? That's it. I've had enough. Lock and load. What's of that? Oh, how about you? What's of my gunning in your face? Are we firing theirs or ours? Um. I just don't want to take sides. Oh, they're starting to fall back. Great. Posses! Not so great. That'll take their retreat straight past payroll. Oh, you love nuts. Quick, give me access to that control board. What are you doing? If I rewire the blast doors, yeah, 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 that will help the anarchists escape. They will give us a clear corridor to payroll. Do it. Piece of unobtainium snark cake. What's erotic 68? Here I come. What's, what's that? That sounds suspiciously like an anarchist time bomb. They like to leave them behind as a goodbye gift. Look, this one even has a bow on it and a little card. And what does the card say? It says... It says run! Here's your lime cordial. Thanks, that'll um, juice me up. I'm sorry about Bot Erotic 68. Uh, don't worry, I mean, I'm told next year will be a total blowout. But 150% tax and overtime for Sector F workers. Who knew? Well, at least I got half my wages. Apparently the rest of the timesheet was too spleeny to count. And I got to keep it as a souvenir. And now, for your entertainment, the triple breasted but burlesque bonanza. Well, looks like the weekend won't be a complete write off.
Queer Space, episode one, The Phantom Paisley, was written and performed by Richard Delafield and Ian McNess. Music, Evil March by Kevin McLeod, Incompetech.com, and visualization by Scott Gavin. Creep Space was a Nucleate Audio production.